So, y'all want to know how it's all going to end? Well, not good. The magnetic field of the Earth is fading and fast. It seems to be, pre to be preparing to flip over. Suddenly, our compasses would point southward. But will there still be someone around to notice it? They say it gives you cancer, and it makes the use of electricity impossible, throwing us back into the Middle Ages, and it should turn the atmosphere into a deadly brew of toxic gases. That's how it goes when suddenly the Earth's magnetic field stops and flips over. In case you didn't know, the Earth is in fact a giant magnet. Around it, there's a huge magnetic field, invisible to the eye. It's a force field, really. It, protect us, it protects us against dangerous incoming radiation from the sun and from deep space. If you're an incoming space particle, the field will drag you away and drop you somewhere on the South Pole or the North Pole. You can see this as it is happening. The rain of space particles is what we call the Aurora Borealis or the Northern Lights. But every now and then, the magnetic field fades and flips over. North becomes south, south becomes north. Such magnetic flipovers are probably just as common as ice ages. On average, they occur every 250,000 years. But the last time it happened was about 780,000 years ago. So you could say it's time for the planet to flip again. And hold your horses, our world might be doing just that. For at least three centuries, the Earth's magnetic field has been fading at an ever faster pace. Right now, it's about 10% weaker than it was when scientists started keeping track of it in 1845. Also, there's the poetically named South Atlantic Anomaly. That's a huge chunk of the Earth deep underneath the ocean floor where the turnover has already begun. Gladly, the pole shift doesn't mean the world is about to fall over or something as many people feel fear uh, that the ice caps won't suddenly move to Africa during the flip over. Only the magnetic poles change position. You have to change the name North Pole into South Pole and get used to the fact that the compass needles point southwards from now on. And that's basically it. But you wouldn't be on this YouTube channel, which is all about the end of the world, if there wasn't a problem too. When North and South swap, our magnetic space shield will break down for a while. In fact, computer simulations suggest even more an even more bizarre scenario. For thousands of years, there will be multiple magnetic poles aimlessly wandering about. There will be a few magnetic North Poles lumbering through your backyard, while another magnetic pole, say the South Pole, will pass right in front of your house. This will have all kinds of bizarre effects birds and other migrating animals will lose their way. Ships, airplanes, and travelers relying on compasses will get lost too. Meanwhile, the night sky will be filled with ghostly streaks of colored light. That aurora, that aurora borealis again, but this time in your own backyard. There will be power cuts as the Earth is hit by solar radiation. Watching TV, listening to the radio, or talking on the telephone will become very difficult, and sometimes impossible. Communications lines will be downed. Satellites will be zapped. There could even be spontaneous outbreaks of fire. This is what happened during an extreme solar radiation storm in 1859. And back then, the magnetic field was on. Meanwhile, your body is zapped too. The invisible, small space particles shoot through your body, ripping through your DNA. This can give you cancer, or horribly mutated offspring, for several thousands of years. It will be like living next to the crashed nuclear plant of Chernobyl. Well, with the exception that Chernobyl, you could at least use the telephone. So gradually, humanity will, redu will be reduced to a monstrous, sick, cancerous, and demented bunch, right? Well, perhaps not. Indeed, all unpleasant effects outlined about are real. But scientists, but science agrees that they won't be that severe. The magnetic flip won't wipe out civilization, as many doomsayers suggest. Fact is, we can do without the magnetic blanket for a while. Take a look at the cancers. It is estimated that without the magnetic field, we would have 15 extra cases of cancer in every 1 million people a year. That, of course, is awful, but hardly catastrophic. Each year, more people die of the common flu. Without a magnetic field, the Earth is still protected by its thick atmosphere. 
it, if you're that evil particle from outer space again, you'd have to zigzag your way through a thick soup of oxygen, nitrogen, and other gases first before you could finally shoot a human being. Chances are that long before you would have bumped into an atmospheric gas molecule. In fact, there are two places where the magnetic field is almost zero already, the North and the South Pole. There, the field dumps the space particles it has caught right on the heads of the Inuit, or the Eskimos, and polar explorers. Despite all that, the Inuit and the explorers are doing fine. Even their electricity works. And if that doesn't calm you down, consider this. You and I won't live to witness the next swap. It should take at least a few more centuries before the poles come marching in. That being said, one nightmarish fact remains. In the long run, the magnetic field could indeed kill us all in a few billion years. Chances are the field shuts down for good because the Earth's core freezes. But that's another video and another story.